Today, we're taking on a rebuild that I feel like you guys have been asking for for months. It is a Blackburn Rovers. Yes, we are taking on a club that has a lot of history, rich history. We have gone ahead and won the league title three times in their history so far. We want to take this club out of the championship to the top of the Premier League, to the top of European football and create an incredible team. I personally want to have a lot of fun. So to have fun, what do we got to do? We got to bring in the wheel. Let's have some fun with this bad boy again. Looking at Blackburn starting 11, we realize that we have Brereton Diaz up top, who is only a 23-year-old that is probably going to last until the end of this rebuild for us. And he is the top performer in real life. So far this season for Blackburn, he has managed to score nine goals for the team, while Hedges is the top assister in the squad with four assists so far. Funnily enough, though, the highest potential in this team is given to a player named Phillips. Oh, hello, yeah. He has like above 80 potential, which is one of the only players we have in the squad that has that level of potential. Now, the entire team here, as you guys can tell, is not necessarily too high rated. We have a couple of youngsters here that I can definitely make use of. Dolan on the right hand side. We have Morton, who is 19 years old, but is way too low rated. In general, we just need to focus on the main players that I believe will be very good for this squad. So what we need to do is we need to build up our team with really good transfers. Now, the transfers that we're going to make are a little bit different in this one. As I said, we're going to use the wheel. Let me explain how. Every season, we get to make three transfers, but we have to spin the wheel three times. If we get the arrow up, we can bring in a player that is higher rated than the highest rated player in our squad. If it's down, that means we have to bring in someone that is lower rated than the highest rated player in our team. That symbol right there means we are only allowed to bring in the same rating. So right now, Brereton Diaz is 75 rated. So I will be able to bring in a 75 rated player into the squad. And those on the right hand side, that means no. Thanks, Captain Obvious. No transfers. Three spins. First spin. Come on. This way, this rebuild is going to be very much impacted by how we train our players and green. That means no. So we get to spin it a second time. One transfer already down the bin. Please, I need a transfer. Give me a transfer. It's, oh, it's light blue, which means below 75. Oh God, this is a great start. So I've made the decision to go for a CDM. Morton, I appreciate you, pal, but I think we need a great player to come into that spot. And it's gonna be Eric Martel. Now, this guy is a German that played in the Austrian League in the previous season and has done really well, has now returned back into the Bundesliga and is playing for Kern. He's getting play time here and there, but a lot of people out there believe that he could be the next big thing in that position for Germany in the future. I'm very excited to have him in the squad now, obviously. I could have brought in someone that would have been 74 rated, 73 rated, but I decided to go for Martel because I truly believe he could be someone for the future for this club. So very happy with the first signing. Let's see what hopefully the second will be if we don't land on all transfers. By the way, as I spin this bad boy, Brazil have scored a late winner. Casemiro, what a finish. Incredible goal. Brazil looked very good. But they were shaky at times against Switzerland. Let me know your thoughts on Brazil, especially now without Neymar, who has gotten injured throughout the group stages. He won't be playing anymore. And people are doubting that he might be fit for the knockout stages. Let me know what you think. Here it goes. What do we get? Third spin. It is... It's lower rated again. Oh, God. The next transfer walking into the club is a center back, my friends. I have gone for a 72 rated Okoli. I believe he is 72 rated. I hope he's 72 rated. We paid 4 million for him. And again, he is lower rated than our highest rated player. And yes, 72 is exactly what I'm seeing. I'm bringing him from... Uh, I'm bringing him... Wait, I am bringing... Hold on. This is embarrassing. I am bringing him in ah, yes for the center back position for ayala who's 31 years old we needed to bring someone in that can help us immediately and here's the thing phillips i will try and loan out at some point i want him to return into the club as someone that can help us out in the future so i'm excited to let him go but hopefully bring him back at some point because i do realize he is our highest potential player in the squad so going back into it okoli coming in and he is apparently 72 rated somewhere. I don't know where that's supposed to be. But nonetheless, 71 rated is what he's coming in at. And I think he's going to be a beast at that center back position. Low attacking work rate, high defensive work rate, six foot three tall. 
I like my transfers for this season, but that's it. We only get three and we actually only got two and all of them were lower rated. So I still have a little bit of budget left that I can't use. It should be fun. It is the end of the season and we are up against Burnley to go ahead and win the playoff finals. If we win this game, we go up into the Premier League. I really hope it works out for the club. Blackburn, can you get back into the Prem? Here's the answer. Yes, we have beaten Burnley and that means so much because if you guys don't know, I believe Burnley and Blackburn absolutely hate each other. So this is a big win. We're going up. Brereton Diaz has scored in the 80th minute. That is exactly what you want to see. We're back into the Premier League with Blackburn. And I think that is going to make so many people that have asked for this rebuild to happen so happy. We came in third, 84 points at the end of this season. And we managed to put our weight through the playoffs. And we are now a Premier League club again. And I'm assuming that the main man himself, Brereton, has been the one scoring the goals. Yes, 33 and 8. That is insane. The Chilean is going to be the main player of this rebuild for sure. And Dolan coming in with a 76 rating, plus 6, 14 and 10. Hedges, 13 and 8. That's, I'm extremely impressed with the performance of these lads. But I am a bit upset about the fact that Shmodic has gone ahead and played 39 games. There was one guy I wanted to play. Oh, John Buckley did actually play 50 games. Only got two goals and six assists. Still plus four. Only 23 years old. 75 rated. Should be fine as we go into the next season. But generally speaking, guys, extremely satisfied with the performances of the team. I think it looks good. I like the fact that Martel has gone up to a 71 rating as well. Or Corley up to a 76. Now for the next season, I'm hoping the spin of the wheel will be kinder to us. So my friends, here we go. What's it gonna be? First transfer of the season. Up, 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 please. That is the second chain of blue, which is same rating. That means 80 rated because that's Brereton's rating. I like it. As I bring in the new signing, I'm also watching the Portugal versus Uruguay game. If anything happens, I'll give you guys my reaction to it. But the man walking into the club is an 80 rated Robert Sanchez. He is the one to take over the spot. The Brighton goalkeeper, I believe he is. He comes into our squad now from a team in Italy now. It seems like he has moved over to Sampdoria. Paid 30 million for it, which is quite a lot of money. But I think when we go into, into the Prem, it's going to be extremely important to have a strong defense. So that right there is a plus six upgrade on the goalkeeper we had before. Sanchez now is six foot six tall and 25 years old. I really, really like that as a signing for the club. On to the second transfer of the season. What's it going to be? Be something decent. Come on then, lads. It's purple. No. Cool. All right. We only get to make two transfers again, possibly. Or is it going to be just one? Don't do this to me. It's red. 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 Is it? No. Oh, yeah, it is red. Let's freaking go. It is up. I don't have any money. Do I? I actually figured it out. We don't have to bring in a young player, do we? We're going to bring in a 30-year-old Thomas Partey. Our CDN that was already existent next to Martel has now left the team plus... Around 20 million have been spent to bring in Thomas Partey into the squad now. I'm very happy with this deal because it is a higher rated player. So sometimes we got to make decisions like these. Now, how long will he last us? Probably like two seasons. He's 30 years old at this stage. So I'm hoping he can help us solidify defensively and help us move forward. Thomas Partey, welcome to the club, pal. You need to help me now and next season and after that. You can say goodbye if you want to go down in your stats. It's fine. Season's over and now we can take a look at it. I am assuming we're staying up. Yes, Blackburn is staying up. 47 points in our first Premier League season, guys. And at the top, we see Manchester City. Now, for me personally, what I want to achieve the most with this rebuild specifically is to turn Brereton Diaz into the highest rated player in the team, be the captain, lift the trophy, and hopefully be 90 plus rated. That's what I want to see and what the Blackburn fans probably would love to see as well. So let's see if we can achieve that, especially looking into the ratings here. So in the team management, we can see Brereton is up to an 83. I think that's only a plus three this season. Still the highest rated player in the team. Dolan up to an 81. 
Hedges, 74 rated still. Ugh, that's not ideal. He's the lowest rated player in the team. And then Pickering, 77. Wharton, O'Coley, Britton. All these guys looking all right. Britton and Hedges are probably the two positions that I need to improve next season. And Eric Martel, by the way, turned into an exciting prospect this season, which I love to see. Sanchez up to an 82 rating. By the way, so far, the Portugal-Uruguay game still nil-nil. Nothing has happened. Ronaldo with a couple of skill moves. The entire, you know, the fans in the stands screaming every time he gets the ball. We love to see it. But uh, let's go ahead and see the performances of Diaz. Has he performed just as well? Probably not. Wow. 31 goal contributions in your first season in the Prem. That's unheard of. Incredible stuff from Bereton Diaz. And then Dolan with the 20 goal contributions as well. I'm very satisfied, lads, with the performance of the team. And Buckley up to a 78, despite not necessarily performing too well last season. This season with the 5 and 2. I mean, Partey even got 10 goal contributions. That was a good season. I'm actually pretty impressed. Benton Cor just had an insane run throughout the entire back line of Portugal, but didn't manage to score. But, lads, we need to manage the transfer budget of 64 million. What do we do with that? If we get the arrow up on the first one, I will immediately go after a massive player. That's the plan. So let's see what we get on the wheel. Let's see. Come on, please, please arrow up. Yellow or red? Yellow or red? <laughs> Green, no transfer. Okay, one transfer already down the bin. We spin again. Only two spins left. <laughs> Purple is also a no. What the hell? Come on, please. Just one. Just one good transfer. No. What's that? Red, arrow up. Yes, that is red, lads. As you can see, it's on this side. Let's freaking go. That one is pink. Yes. There was only one way to upgrade for me, and it was the left wing position. Yes, Beckvine is coming into the team. Obviously, he's a player that plays in a World Cup too. Haven't seen too much of him so far during this World Cup. For Netherlands, specifically in the attack, Cody Gakpo has been the main guy, but Beckvine has had a good season uh, for Ajax so far. So let's see how he improves our team. Brereton Diaz, 83 rated. Beckvine is... 84 rated okay that works exactly how i hoped it would so this is an upgrade and the only upgrade for the season now we just go after it 13th last season this season i'd say let's hope for like eighth or ninth something like that will be nice season's done yes only one transfer and the team is looking like this Bereton up to an 85 now it seems like 85 is showing on three players in a start 11 at the moment which means that is the rating that we can go above if the arrow points up now i am pretty happy with the starting 11 considering that even the players that were lower rated have kind of grown a little bit at least so they have become even more useful. So I'm expecting that this season has gone well. I expected a top 10 finish. And what are we getting? What is that? 15th. Dude, that feels like the Nep clip where he's like on Formula 1, isn't he? Like easy top 3 and then it's like 16th. What the hell, man? 40 points. Dude, <laughs> how? How does that make sense? Why did that happen? Liverpool wins the league title. I want to know why that happened. Like, we have conceded 68 goals and only scored 57. That clearly is an issue within the squad right now. Brereton has done well. 30 goal contributions. He has been incredible. And the same goes for Dolan. I don't think we're giving enough props to Dolan, man. He has done incredibly well every single season. Bergwijn coming into the team and not performing to the level of Dolan. So, that just shows me Dolan is the guy. Brereton, Diaz, and Dolan are doing extremely well. Bergwijn... Okay, first season. Buckley, again, only three goals. Would love to replace him. And yeah, I think this season is going to hurt us, guys. Because if we come in 15th, that will lead to us having a smaller budget going into the next year. So I need this team to do better next season. Maybe even with little to no transfers. Talking about transfers, let's get to the next season. Spin the wheel. My friends, Cristiano Ronaldo or Bruno Fernandes has just... We need to see what we're going to be getting ourselves here. I don't think Cristiano actually touched the ball, but the first spin gives us yellow. Yellow upgrade. For me, there was only one option. It was to find out which player's contract is running out. And it is 
Mazraoui. Yes, his contract is currently running out, which made him cheaper for me. So I was able to bring him in and still keep a little bit of money in the club to make sure that players get the right amount of money on their wages. He comes in for Britain plus 45.6 million, which is a huge chunk of our budget, but it is an upgrade to an essential part in our team, and that is the right back position. I'm extremely excited to bring in Mazraoui here, who is actually higher rated as a right wing back. I'm not going to take that. I'm going to go right back. I need to be more defensive. And ideally, at some point, we do want to upgrade the left back too. But after having spent the money we have spent now, I don't think I need three spins of the wheel. I don't have enough money to make three transfers. So... Let's see if we can do better this season. Season's over. Portugal game in the last few minutes. And let's... Here we are. Look at the team. Brereton Diaz. 90 rated. Dolan, 89. Bechwein up to an 87. Mazraoui, plus one this season. Overall, pretty satisfied with how things have gone in terms of rating of the squad. We look like a proper Premier League team, but the bench is obviously not ideal. Hopefully, we can add to it at some point. Right now, I'm not allowed to because things are not necessarily going too well. So, here we are, ninth. I mean, yeah, yeah, makes sense. 59 points on us, far away from a European spot, but... I do believe in my team. I do believe we will get there very, very soon. Blackburn Rovers, it's a long journey so far. And in the squad, hope we will be able to see Brereton again. 26 goal contributions. Bergwijn has stepped up massively. 17 and 11. Dolan, 11 and 10. This guy, always 20 plus goal contributions, isn't it? Buckley with his best season, possibly. Masanawi, 5 and 7 for right back. No wonder he has gone up in his rating. And Partey got a plus one as a 32-year-old. I'm impressed, Partey. Well done. Uh, but yeah, that, my friends, is the season over. We got to do better in the next season. And I do think we'll be getting more money this time. Bruno Fernandes has just scored the second goal for Portugal on a penalty. Well, it was well taken. I don't necessarily agree, though, with the penalty. Hand down so he doesn't just fall flat on his head. But hey, anyways, I've seen it given. I've seen it not given. Here is what we are going to be given. What is it? What are we getting this time around? I need to turn this thing on. It is purple. No transfer. Cool. All right. That starts off really well. It's what we love to see. I have 84 million to spend. Please. Green. That's another no. Oh, my God. That's, I need something desperately. Even lower rated would be fine because I have a 90 rated Brereton Diaz now. That is red. Up. I can basically buy anything. Yep, that basically means I can buy anyone because 90 rating is the highest rating we have. At this stage, it only comes down to do we make a transfer or not? There's only one man that needed to come into this team, especially considering his performance in the World Cup in the most recent game. Guys, we are looking at Jamal Musiala coming into the squad. I will turn him into a center attacking mid and he will take over that position. I am probably one of the biggest fans of Musiala at the moment in world football. As a German, I find him to be incredible. And there was a moment where he was up against Pedri and Gavi at the same time and skilled past both of them. Gavi had to foul him to stop him. That for me was vindication enough because in my opinion, he deserved to win the Ballon, not the Ballon d'Or, the Golden Boy Award. So it's beautiful to see that Jamal Musiala now joins into our team. Obviously, we'll turn him into a center attacking midfielder. And that way, he will actually go up to a 92 rating. Oh, yes. I like that. That is going to be some player for us. But that's the only transfer I can make. That's it. His contract was running out. I made the deal possible. And now we play. Season's over. Portugal game's over. 2-0 victory for them. But guys, Blackburn Rovers is fourth. Champions League football is coming up. It has taken us long enough to get ourselves to this position. We were only three points away, only three points from actually winning the whole thing. That is quite disappointing for me to see. I would have loved to go ahead and win it all. But here's the team that has done it. Musiala, 93 rated. And yes, 
when I changed his position, he went from 89 to a 92. I'm so happy to have him in the team. I'm so excited about his career, man. I can't tell you. If they bring in Florian Wirtz into Bayern Munich as well, they will have two of the best German talents in one team. But it's Diaz, 91 rated up top. Dolan, 91 as well. Some originals in here still. Partey has gone down in his rating. Martel has gone up to an 86. So Partey is probably the position that will be improving in the upcoming season. Sanchez up to an 88. Masraoui now 89. Incredible stuff. And someone must have scored a bunch of goals for us to be here. Bechwein. 36 goal contributions. Federton with only 21. Dolin coming in with the 27. Musiala, 13 assists and 6 goals. Can't really complain too much considering that we have made it into Champions League football. Blackburn Rovers is slowly climbing up the league table and back into European competition now. All right, lads, here we are again, 130 million. That is the budget for this season. And I've decided to change something up. Now that our team is already very high rated, it doesn't really matter down or up. It doesn't really make any sense. So here's the thing. These three, this one, this one, this one are gonna be no transfers. This one is gonna be respin. This, this, this means we get to make a transfer. So here, we go do we get to make any transfers to get three spins as we know the first one is light blue that means respin so we still have three spins come on please i want to make as many transfers as possible that one my friends is pink yes one transfer secured come on come on i need players for the bench that is red that's another transfer secured please Two so far, and that's red again. Three transfers. Let's go. Declan Rice. Yes, Rice, Rice, baby. Coming into the squad right now. Extremely happy to bring him in and happy to bring in a player that actually has a real face. Musiala still does not have a face scan in the game. What a joke. Anyways, he comes in at an 87 rating to replace Thomas Partey. And for the bench, I'm going to bring in... Uh, do I bring in players to the bench? Uh, actually, I could bring in a new center back. Just a new one, a higher rated one. Yep, let's bring a player in for the bench and then bring in one more free agent to fulfill our team's hopes and dreams of hopefully winning titles. Here he comes, a center back to take us to the next level. It's Delicht. Yes, he is walking into the club now. Blackburn Rovers have found themselves an amazing player to join. Obviously, he played the first couple of games or the first game for Netherlands during the World Cup. He didn't do too well and immediately got replaced by Timber. I don't know. I really like De Ligt, especially for Bayern Munich. I think this guy still has an extremely bright future ahead of him. I think a lot of people kind of forget that he's still only like 22. So he's here now to take over that left center back position for us, which I'm very happy about. And you know what? I kind of want to change the formation here a little bit. I feel like... Is it just me or are these center backs too far apart? Like, is that, is that not like an issue? I feel like they're way too far apart from each other. Right center back, left center back. I hope that's okay. Or have I just messed everything up? I hope I haven't messed everything up. I have found an 82 rated center forward from Croatia who is 16 years old to be the third transfer we are going for. And with that, I think we have put our bench uh, uh, up another level, I guess. That's the right way of putting it. So Jovanovic comes in with 88 pace, 80 shooting, 75 uh, passing. Dribbling is good. Five star, uh, four star weak foot. I mean, he's going to be a great substitution for Brereton Diaz or Musiala. Whatever he wants to jump into, I am prepared to take on this year. Getting past PSG after getting past Lyon doesn't seem easy, but we are doing it. Juventus semi-finals. Come on. Can this be the season already? 2028. I mean, I shouldn't say already. It has taken us a long time. That should be it. Juventus, let's go. All right, lads. We're going to be in a Champions League final with Blackburn Rovers. Is this the first season we jumped into the Champions League? It might just be, but here we are against Chelsea, lads. That's the game we're gonna take on and we're gonna take it on with an incredible, incredible team. I am so happy to see the squad at incredible ratings. Pereira Diaz, 93. Musiala, 94. Bergwijn, 91. 
Eric Martel picked up a red. No, I can't fix that. He's out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss out on my best CDM there, I guess. Declan Rice up to an 88, Dolan up to a 92, Masraoui 91, Okoli 87, De Ligt 90, Sanchez 90, Pickering on the 88. We're going to have to replace Martel and somehow find a way of getting this team on track. I hope it's going to work out for us. Now, let's take a look at the performance in the league as well. Where did we finish? I want to see Blackburn at the top of the Premier League. Is that a possibility? It isn't. Second place. I'm okay with that because we have done somewhat all right here this season, especially getting ourselves into the Champions League final. I'm pretty happy with second place in the league and first place in the Champions League would be fine. Bremerton Diaz, 46 goal contributions. Bergwijn and Dolan, incredible down the wings. And Musiala with 27 goal contributions. Mazraoui gets himself 13 from the right back position. What a freaking player. That's... I am more than ready to play with this team in the Champions League final against Chelsea. This should be some battle. And also, of course, we got to look at their team. Pulisic, Ozimen, Sterling, Brahim, Valverde. Five at the back. Ugh. Okay, let's see how this goes. Musiala in the Blackburn kit. That looks beautiful. He seems very attached to um, England still. I mean, obviously, he's playing for the German national team, but he has uh, done an interview, which I just watched, and he's basically just talking about England all the time. And he's, like, playing PlayStation with his friends in England. He's playing pro clubs. The guy's playing FIFA every day, it seems. With a scuff controller, pro gamer. Now, don't forget, guys. Last time around, I told you that we have upgraded the sliders and everything. The AI is going to play much better. And it starts off immediately. Brahim Diaz with the strike. <sighs> That's what you get for turning on the sliders even more for the AI. We're getting battered by Brahim Diaz's first strike. Not a good start at all. It's having a little bit of fun down the wings. I see a run made by Musiala. Great defending. Or is it? Did he just back heal that one? No way. I've never seen anything like it. Brenton Diaz back heels in a Champions League final in a position how nah I am sorry that is ridiculous look at that he doesn't even look on target he is the best player in FIFA 23 we have created him that's great positioning there Unbelievable. No, no, Sanchez, just no. You can't concede that, bro. That's ridiculous. Are you a non-league goalkeeper? What the hell are you doing? Look at that. It's right next to him. What's the point of you being there? Dolan down the wings into Diaz. Over to Dolan again. I see a run from Musiala. I also see Brereton Diaz inside, just waiting. It's going to be Musiala. Musiala. Yes. Let's go. We're back into the game. The German scores. The center attacking midfielder steps up when I need him. My favorite young talent in the world. And that is Mendy upset with his defense. I get it. Dolan, incredible play down the right-hand side. Cuts in, finds Musiala. Musiala, one touch, bang. Second touch, scores. <sighs> All right, 2-2. Two -two. Ooh, that's a good ball, isn't it? Come on, win that. Win that, man. Win that. No. Oh, my God, bro. Are you freaking kidding me? What have they done to goalkeepers? What is happening? That, that, that should never, ever, ever go in. Come on, man. This is ridiculous. How the hell is that even, how is that even going in? Am I, I mean, come on, EA. I swear this is this is rigged. I have upgraded the AI shooting in terms of like accuracy and everything, but I have not dragged down my own goalkeeper's abilities. This is just a joke, man. You can't be serious. That's not how I'm going to lose this, is it? Bechwein, Brereton Diaz. Bechwein, come on. Come on. 
Why is he shooting with his left? Use your right. Oh my god, my entire team is brain dead. I swear, every single one of them has zero IQ. Cross stolen. Shoot. Just shoot. What do I have to press? I'm going to make a change. I'm taking off this Garrett guy. I'm putting another striker up front. I don't even care. I'm bringing on this Jovanovic. And Deck is just going to defend by himself. That's just what it is. All right. I need more support in the attack. Declan Rice. Musiala. Love it. Diaz. Making a run for the ages. <laughs> of course. Yep. He just misses the target. Yeah, that makes total sense. Is this on target as he takes it? Yep. It's literally right into the top left corner, as you guys can see. 93 rated. Misses the target. Okay. Oh, big steal. Diaz. That's the one. Yes. Yes. EA, you try and rig me. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We equalize around the 90th minute. Get in. I'm going to win this. I'm going to win this. Diaz with his second. Uh, of course. Go ahead and score. Go ahead and score. Just just do it. Oh, my God. Sanchez, if you let that one in in the 120th, I would have uninstalled. Well, this turned out to be one of the longest rebuilds in a long time. We're going into pens and I'm losing 100%. Do I, do I even try at this point? Like genuinely, guys, the AI just knows. It just knows. Look at that. I wanted to go left. I swear I wanted to go left. I'm happy that Declan Rice missed where I wanted to go. Sanchez to become a hero? Sanchez to become a hero? Is that what's going to happen right here? Oh my God. Am I actually winning against ultimate difficulty on, on penalty shootouts? Oh, I guessed right. I moved away too far. Stop giving me the freaking tutorial. Bergwijn. Bergwijn into the center. Let's go. Woohoo, we score again. Sanchez. I can't believe it. The worst goalkeeper I've ever used is about to get me a Champions League trophy. Jovanovic, the free agent. The free agent. Yes. Unbelievable scenes. Can you believe it? We have gone ahead and won the Champions League trophy with Blackburn Rovers in one of the best rebuilds of all time. And when it comes to the Champions League final, I don't think I ever had anything that was as insane as this one was. We score a back heel goal. We concede the silliest goals you, were, you will ever see. And then we come back and win it because of the terrible goalkeeper making the saves. Unreal. This video is long, I know, but it was totally worth it. So happy to be able to give you guys this cutscene right here because I thought it was not going to happen. Rice, Rice, baby, is going to lift the trophy next to Jamal Musiala. Brevet and Diaz, what a striker. And also Dolan. He might be the smallest player I've used on FIFA. I don't know why he seems so small, but lads... He is incredible in terms of dribbling. I'm so happy that we got to carry a bunch of the original Blackburn players to the final with Diaz, with Dolan, with Pickering. Guys, nothing else left to say except thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. If you watched until now, you really care about my content, please subscribe to me or follow to me. Follow to me? Follow me on Instagram. Johnny Sports, find me. Go ahead. I would really appreciate it. Have a good day, guys. Take care. And peace.